scenting the every water. Well, and it's officially uh, New Year's Eve, Eve, if that's a thing. Um, and it is my first day back to work since um, the 22nd, eight days ago. And I'm gonna prepare to, one because laundry hasn't been done yet for like the last two weeks. So, because it skipped this weekend. Anyway, yeah. Mm, fun times have been had ish. So, Ed is still off work for like the next couple of days. Um, he was gonna be off the whole week, but. He's supposedly gonna go ahead and head back after New Year's Day. So there's that. I will still have New Year's Day off just because of the holiday. Um, and it's the last week of the winter magical readathon, and I'm sad that it's over. But at the same time, I'm kind of looking forward to like more relaxed reading again since in a minute. Um, so yeah, I have seven books for this week. And I've gotten one out of the way, at least, because I read through Sideways Arithmetic from Wayside School yesterday. Um, now I'm on the book jumper, which so far I love. And I'm glad because, like, I've been greatly anticipating reading this book for ages ever since I came across it. Same with the Forgotten book that kind of sort of is a similar one. Um, so yeah. And I've got an audiobook for almost every single book for this week too. The only ones I didn't get an audiobook for were Tales of Boulevard and The Wayside School book. So that is awesome. Um, that's gonna help out a lot this week for sure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Um, also, Ed and I are almost finished with our Harry Potter week marathon movie thing that we do every year. Um, so we've got Deathly Hallows Part 1 out of the way today, and then there's just Part 2 tomorrow, and that'll be it. Still people. I'm trying to think if there's anything else really going on. Um, I went to see Little Women on Thursday, the, the day after Christmas, um, and it was really good, but, like, honestly, I still kind of prefer the 1994 one with Chris and Dunst and Winona Ryder. <sighs> there were some things that were just kind of off about this one. Um, like, the Amy character. I don't know what it is. Like, before, in the 1994 one, I didn't like the older version of her because it just didn't match up, like, at all with Kirsten Dunst as the younger version. But this one, like, they kept the same actress, but, like, she's just too old to pull off, like, how old, she, like, how young she should be for the first, like, several years of the timeline, so I'm just like, yeah, why, why they have to ruin my character? <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of things using my name anymore, it's weird. <sighs> We're also watching you season two, there's another Amy in that one. Although that one's fake, because it's really Candace, but anyway, um, yeah. Thanks. Um. <sighs> God, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not prepared. Um. Yeah, I, I really don't know what else to really talk about at the moment, and I should probably go upstairs because there's probably a decent bit for me to catch up on and hopefully my desk partner isn't up there because they usually don't get off till like 45 and that leaves me like hardly any time but we'll see how it goes if all else fails that gives me like 15 minutes of reading time 
right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go um, head on in for the day. Yeah, hopefully it goes well. I need to take a moment before I go inside to just say, I think the book jumper is very quickly becoming one of my favorite books like ever right now and like I don't know if I've ever had this like epiphany of oh my god this book is like actually like amazing like properly rather than just like oh this is really good I want to know what's going on like right now there's Harry Potter and then that's about it so far that I can think of like offhand like maybe Twilight kind of sort of though that one has a lot of guilt because of the whole like Twilight thing anyway but like I can't like the main girl's name is Amy for one and like the whole thing about like the book jumping in general like can I please just I would like to K thanks by and just like <laughs> I get. Okay, okay, what's just there? I'm at a loss for words. But I, I like literally just like. I'm so glad I have this book. Also, the audiobook is fantastic as well um, because the girl who's narrating it even though there are certain times where her accent like some of the pronunciation reminds me of the one like actress chick who had the f fake sounding british accent in austin land except when she kind of like gets a little close to that like love her accent the rest of it and just like this scottish german like crossover thing is just awesome to listen to and just I can't say enough good things about this book right now like that whole like slight slight crossover like eh, thing about the accent is like the, in the audiobook is like the only complaint I have like th that's it at this point honestly and I'm just like what So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna just like go inside and try and chill out a little bit, but yeah, I'm like a freaking out fangirling right now and it's, it's intense. <laughs> in time for me to go upstairs but it is New Year's Eve and my shift will not end until New Year's I literally get off work at midnight Why? not only next year but next decade so rude <laughs> anyway um, so the girl who sat at the desk next to mine, um, ended up going back to the phones because unfortunately her spot was rotational so she's no longer staying in internet. Thankfully not the case for my spot. Um, but basically since she moved I have taken over that desk with permission from management and supervisors whatever um, because the person that I share my desk with as I mentioned yesterday gets off at 345 and I start at 4 but the girl who does day shift at her desk um, leaves at 3 every day and she didn't always she uh, like her shift started at 5 so I was like that would be cool if we could maybe like switch in the past but I'd, like she'd been there for a while so I didn't want to like make it a bang 
But now that the desk is free, it's going to be mine. So I moved the most majority of my stuff to that desk last night. But now I have to actually set everything up. Like, um, I backed up my computer with all of my bookmarks and everything. I have to set that all back up on this new computer and log in. And it's always a little slow that first time. So I want to make sure I get there pretty quickly. Um... Ed and I also finished our movie marathon today as well. Again, getting it pretty close despite the fact that we started seemingly early. Um, but I underestimated slightly just how long the last two movies are. Like, seriously, like two and a half it or more hours for each of them. So yeah, there's that. Um... Also, I am almost done, but not quite, with the book jumper. Can I just say, like, how pretty this cover is? But, like, for real, I'm down to, like, the last, what, 70-ish pages, maybe? Um, so, I should definitely be finishing that today. And then I've got to read Anne of Wendy Poplar's. And I really need to get on it because I am still running behind on my books this today because, like, I was, like, 100 pages short last night finishing everything <sighs> anyway um that's pretty much what's happening and it's gonna be a pretty um pretty low-key new year's eve night for me work work and more work woohoo <laughs> but at least i'm off tomorrow also um repairs are officially finished on the house um, that happens, I believe, I believe it may have even been like last week or at least a couple days ago that we, that they officially finished. I think we just got the confirmation officially like yesterday. Um, so now we're just waiting for the appraisers to do a final inspection to approve the repairs that were done and make sure nothing else needs to be done now. And then, um... Yeah, then we close on the 17th, and it's going to be a thing. And I've requested that day off, so that's all good. It's ready to go. I'm just like, I can't believe it's so close now. It feels like this time is just like flowing by. But that's what happens when you have Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's going on. Um, so yeah, uh, it is now really time for me to head inside. So uh, I may potentially update later. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Happy New Year, I guess. <laughs> Here the fireworks already. <laughs> what can we see them? Probably not. Maybe on the drive home. I don't know. Should we risk it? I don't think so, though. <sighs> anyway, so it is 10:16, and I'm kind of in shock, honestly. Like. It's been fairly steady the majority of the day. Like it was a little slow and kind of like mm, with some lengthy-ish dips for the first like hour or two. But the last couple hours have been actually pretty steady. Um, so I was kind of surprised when the supervisor was just like, you wanna go home? <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, sure, I'll go home. I would like to, you know, not be at work till midnight on New Year's Eve going into the new freaking decade. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so I just finished the one request I was working on and just clocked out. Um, granted, I am taking like two hours vacation time off the books to leave, but that's okay with me. I've got like a week or so still saved up after having a whole week off last week so well technically I think it's like four days and some change now since I did request off for the 17th for the house closing so not technically quite as much but very close <laughs> um so yeah so um I've also done a ton of reading today. Um, I decided to test out what if I do actually listen to my audiobooks instead of just Spotify the whole time I will work. Because that's a brilliant thing to do when, you know, I'm already killing data. No, I'm just kidding. If I download them ahead of time, it'll be fine, you know? Right? 
anyway, I finished the book Jumper, which was awesome, and I've read through the majority of Anne of Wendy Poplar's as well over the last couple hours. Like, look how far. And I haven't even checked to see where I actually am. That's just the last time I checked it, which was probably like half an hour-ish or so ago at this point. So maybe even, I'm even further than that at this time. But like, out of, what, 258 pages, I'm at at least 177? Like, come on. That's awesome, and I wish I started doing this sooner. But, yeah. I might actually manage to finish all my books on time if we do this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home now. And enjoy the day off tomorrow. Oh my god. We're two hours not even away from a new decade. hello okay i'm gonna stop now and like go home before anyone else potentially comes out here and be like what is will girl doing <laughs> bye home and uh once another year where or even just once another holiday where i can hear the fireworks but can i see them no not even a little bit nowhere not even enough to have a vague idea of where they're coming from not the whole way home Anywhere. Oh well, at least I won't be at work. I can hear it, but where? But where? That is the question. I can now find my keys right now. Uh, there was one or two other people that left as well, but some of the people that they offered decided not to leave. Um, it comes out of your vacation. Essentially. So you're still paid, it's just, yeah. But it's only two hours, so it's... Well, the people who decided to stay said they were going to be back tomorrow working as well, and they just they didn't care. No idea. You will be here for the new year. You will spend two whole decades on my car. <laughs> what the crap is this? <laughs> Katie says no. It's 30 seconds, too. I will keep you here for 30 seconds. I don't care what you do. Thank you. He's gonna be your new year, buddy? What kind of focus crap is this? Then nothing could be seen. Except 
subsequent party for days. I'm gonna pet him for the first time in a decade before I let him go. <laughs> Kitty, why are you steal the first pet? <laughs> what about the Nina? She gets the second one. That's rude. That's a lie. You may have first pets, but Luna gets first cuddles. What? I forgot. Uh, Nina is an hour early in Puerto Rico. So they've been living in 2020 for a whole hour. 